So today we've got a very interesting topic because I've heard it a lot recently that people are, you know, I, I look at a lot of businesses and I feel they all are stuck in the same thing, which is who are you targeting? So do you think if you look at like your business, who do you target? Are you trying to reach out to everyone or are you actually niching yourself? Okay, so that obviously is directed me. Um, I would say I would say that I'm very, very niche in the sense that I'm focusing on people. I would definitely say it's women between ages of about probably about 35 to 55 who are very committed to working on themselves. So they're people that have gone. Uh, there's certain areas of my life that I'm not happy. Maybe they've gone through some kind of change or maybe they are feeling like they are not managing their emotions. And they are people who believe that they, I mean, I've just, my newsletter's just gone out, September's tips around acceptance. So those are the people, it's people who want to accept what is and work around that. Like, I mean, a silly example would be yesterday was freezing, right? I mean, freezing. I, think I had layers and layers and layers. And my, I had, my bed was heated and I had blankets and it was ridiculous. Um, so cold. So the acceptance is it's absolutely freezing. And then what you can do about it is to make sure that you keep really, really warm. That's a very basic, basic example. So those are the people that I, I, I work with. And, and by having my Instagram, by doing the videos, by having my bi-weekly networking event, by having my social pages, um, I attract those people. So those are the people who will naturally come to me and go, hey, this is what I want to work on. Um, yeah. So I don't know if that answers so your I question. Think, so, this is the reason why I'm asking this question, as I said, look in the beginning, that a lot of people are struggling with this. And I find that a lot of businesses are really trying to be everything to everyone. So a lot of people, like even when you are now trying to define your target market, you are still very everything and you're not fully niching yourself. And this is the first tip I want to give to people. Niche yourself. Niche your business as much as you can. And, and a lot of things, like what I'm trying always to teach is that, you know, try to imagine that person, that person that is your perfect target market like when you look at this person this is your dream client like every little bit that you can actually tell about him write it down and that can be for example so as you said like it can be females and it can be in a certain age group and they can have some interest in common they can have some you know stuff that they do in the afternoon in common so for example if i look at some of my target markets, like, like if I'll take it as an example, I can say that I want to work with people that want to invest in themselves, right? If they want to invest in themselves, that means that they're also, for me, they're also going to do sport in the afternoons, right? Because they're investing in themselves. They're also mm. going to go to some restaurants here and there because they're investing in themselves. They also like to travel because that's how they invest in themselves. They do something. So I will try to give them as much as I can details and as much as I can like interest that they've got, things that they've got in common to share. So if you think now about your target market, do you have more stuff that are coming, like that are in common? Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, they work for themselves. Generally, I work with uh, people who work for themselves. Very often they are coaches themselves. They relate. They are maybe relationship coaches, um, inspirational coaches, but they're kind of coaches of sorts. They are normally in a relationship, not necessarily married, but normally in a relationship. Um, kids doesn't really apply. Um, country doesn't really apply. It could be anywhere in the world. Um, but you yeah, see, now you're starting to think about it. And that's the thing. A lot of times I say, like, how can you know that you need to, like, let's say you're, you're like your target market is your destination, right? How can you know that you can get from point A to point B if you don't know what's point B? And if you don't okay. know what's point B. Okay, but one, yeah, but what something that I think that really, and yeah, and I mean, you must tell me if it's not, if, if it's not the case, but something that I really, really, really feel is that I had a discussion with somebody about this yesterday saying that, 
my belief is if you are consistently consistent with who you are and what you stand for, whether it is your videos, whether it's your quotes, whether it's your social media, whatever the case is, for me, that is such a clear indication of the people that are coming to you naturally are very often the people that are within your target market. So I don't do paid advertising. I don't, you know, I don't. Um, so I think a lot of the people who do come to me, they come through the way that I'm consistently consistent with my brand and who I am. So I don't know if that's if that's with part of. By the way, that one of the ways to actually reach to your target market by actually being true to yourself. Because bottom line, you don't want to attract the wrong people, right? Mm -hmm. No one wants like if you're gonna attract now the wrong target market, and that's what happens when a lot of people are not really true to themselves, are not really clear with what's their message, are not very clear with who they're targeting. But in your mind, you actually are, you do know who you're targeting. It's maybe mm -hmm. more for you to sit down and give me now all the information about them but in your head it's clear and it's links to the fact that you know also what's your message and that you are know who you are and by you being true to yourself you're attracting the right people but for a lot of businesses what happens is that they do the spaghetti on the wall or right? they're trying to be everything to everyone so it's the system of you throw the spaghetti on the wall whatever sticks sticks whatever falls falls and then what's happening is that they create also a gap between mm -hmm. you know like if you attract the wrong people to you, their expectations from you are not going to be in line with what you were trying to say that you're going to deliver, what you promise that you're going to deliver. And by creating that gap in that expectation part, they're going to be annoyed with your brand. They're not going to accept it. They're going to but, be disappointed yeah, and be against you. I think a lot of, again, I was going to check someone about this yesterday, and I think a lot of it is about being consistently consistent who you are. There's, there's no... Um, social media platform, uh, video that I've done, interview that I've done, there's nothing that I've done ever, ever, ever that is not consistently about shifting one degree, which is exactly what I'm called, shift one degree, about doing personal development. So there's there's nothing out there, because I've Googled my name, I've done a search, there's nothing out there that goes, oh, oh, she was a dentist, oh, but then I thought she was a chef. Like, it's very clear what I, what I stand for, so there's no question around that. And I think that is, that's the, consistency is the key. Consistency, first of all, is very the key. But yeah. like you know, for me, people don't get like if you define your target market the right way, right? So you know where you want to get to, you know who you're trying to reach out to, but you know if you're targeting, you know exactly what's the message that's gonna suit them, right? That they can understand, you know exactly where to find them. And that's what happened for a lot of businesses that are trying to be in all the different social media platforms without even thinking. Are my target market are there? Are they actually spending their time there? Is that mm -hmm. what, the, you know? And like now I see that there's like a trend around Instagram. And a lot of people are trying to be in Instagram because it's kind of trendy because more and more people are there. But bottom line, I'm always going to ask, are your target market there? And when I recommended it to you, it's because, you know, I know your target market is there. And that's why my recommendation was to be there. And you can even feel it now with the engagement and how things are moving that they are actually there. Yeah. And by you knowing as much as you can about your target market, and that's why I always say, try to imagine that person. Try to get as much information as you can. Because by doing that, you know exactly where to find them. You know exactly what's the timing that you can also find them online. And I always give the examples. Like if your target market is moms, right? You won't be able to communicate with them and to engage with them around like four in the afternoon to like at least like eight, nine o'clock in the evening because that's the time where they're with the kids and the showers and, you know, the activities after school and all of that. So you're basically going to waste your time and energy and good content of like mm -hmm. nothing. And that's why I always keep in mind, like think about them. Try to think and really write it down for yourself. And then that's why I have this questionnaire that asking you questions to learn, you know, what are they doing in the afternoon? What's their financial status? Like, what are they one, struggling with? One of the things I would be interested in, I don't know if this is relevant or not, one thing I'd be interested in is um, what day and what time newsletters are. So everybody that is, is that is on my newsletter, I've got permission that have subscribed. If people unsubscribe, then that's absolutely fine. But my assumption is because they've all given me permission that they, that they get value from it. So I'm just going to go with that assumption. Um, but if I look back over the last year or whatever I've been doing it, maybe eight months, 
And I look back on the different day and the different times. And I've done, I've done that. Like I've consistently done a Tuesday at like quarter past nine. I've consistently done a Wednesday, but, you know, and just to see. And I'll be very, 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 very honest with you. It's, it's, I don't know if it's because it was pre-lockdown, lockdown, semi, I don't even know what we are in now, semi kind of lockdown, whatever we're in now. So I don't know if it's all because of that. Things have changed so radically. I don't know. But it's very hard to look at that and go, okay, well, it's this day and this time because it's completely thrown me. Like I've sometimes thought, okay, well, it's not definitely it's a Friday, but then the following month it was like, it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm there. So I must say about this, and that's why my recommendation. That's another tip. You know, every few months, write again who you're targeting, who's your target market, and the reason for that is what people don't get at what happened during like COVID is that. It doesn't matter who you're targeting. For all of us, our target market has changed. And mm -hmm. that's like the most important stuff is that there's a reason why I say every every few months they find them. Because either something in your business changed, maybe the type of service, the type of product that you are doing is changed. And what happened to everyone during COVID is that the behavior of our target markets have changed. Our behavior has changed. People are more online. If people during the day were like traveling in between meetings or, you know, being outside in coffee places working, now everyone is home and people are working from home. People are getting used to the online. People are now consuming online. So no matter what you've done, your target market, his behavior has changed. Now you need to adopt it. And I can say myself that I use a certain app that tells me what time I need to post on Instagram. He changed. My timing has changed. If in before lockdown, my strongest day was a Monday in the evening, now it became Tuesday during the day, which is the funny mm -hmm. part because it changed. Yeah. And it changed because my be the behavior of my target market has changed. And that's why it's always need to bear in mind. And that's why I said it's really an important topic because we don't get it. We don't think about it. And like for you also saying about your newsletter, you know, for now you can say that every Friday it will be the best time. But then in a few months from now, and maybe in a few weeks from yeah. now, it's going to be changing because you're going to add more people to your newsletter and they maybe have a, a different type of behavior. Also, maybe something like COVID can happen and like their behavior is changing or maybe mm -hmm. some trend became and like, you know, something is changing. And that's why it's very important to know who you're targeting and always be alert, always be aware about it. Because you don't really know. And that's the thing. Like a lot of people are, you know, thinking that maybe in marketing there's some winning formula. There's no such thing. Mm. Because no one can guarantee you anything. And if someone guarantee you that I'll bring you this results or whatever it is, he's lying. I'm being honest. You know, yeah. I've been doing marketing that's, for multiple years. Yeah. So that's, I just wanted to say that kind of ties in with the say yes mentoring. So before COVID, the company's been going for about 12 years and it was face-to-face, nine-month program, having an hour session with your mentee once a week. Then COVID happened and it's now all gone online. So now a lot of the mentors are from all over the world, you know, and now you're looking at time differences. You know, you've got maybe five hours, six hours, whatever, you've got time differences, but it's from all over the world. So that has opened up, you know, Andrew, who's the operations director, was saying like he does all the interviews. And that's opened up a whole world of people because now there's so many people from all over the world going, we want to get involved in social change. So it's quite amazing how that is because that was not the option. That was not, the, you know, that wasn't possible before. So, yeah, I mean, I think in every business it's completely relevant. It is. And that's why I said always keep it up. Always check who you're targeting. Okay, yeah. if something in my business has changed, if something in their behavior has changed, or you know what, sometimes you look at their behavior and say, Okay, I've got a different solution for the problem. I'm going to bring it in. And you know what? Or like now because everything is becoming online, maybe now I can change my target market and not exclude it only like to South Africa. Now I can expand and I can do for other countries because of the English. You know, there's a lot of stuff. So that's why you always need to be alert. I myself, if I look at my business, I've changed in a year two, three times my target market. And I'm not ashamed to say it because, yes, I was evolving. You know, my business have changed. I realized some stuff. I've decided that even before COVID that I want to take my business more online and to have a more online, like a stronger online presence and having online courses 
And eventually I was right because that's where everyone's going now. So be, you know, be there, listen, listen to yourself, listen to them. And that's what I say, if you're actually going to be more active in different groups and build this community and you're going to check up on them and see what groups are they more active, where, what are the common things, you're going to learn about the behavior that you can actually understand upfront some stuff that they're going to change even before they do. And that's what's going to get you to become like a better entrepreneur because you will know that there is something going on there and then you can make the changes and then you can come with a solution. And that's part of it. So if you know who you're targeting, you know exactly who you're engaging with, how to engage with them, where to find them, you know, what's the timing and you need to listen all the time. Listen, yeah. that's the most important part. Listen to them. They are telling you everything. And if you're not going to listen, someone else will listen. And then you're going to miss the opportunities. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. And it is. And you know what? It's an important topic because this is the most important foundation of marketing. Mm -hmm. If you don't have this, your business won't be here for the long run. If you don't know exactly who you're targeting. And if someone wants, you're more than welcome to send me your details and I'll send you a questionnaire that's going to help you and guide you on how to define your target market. Because it does, it helps. It makes you to sit and think and understand. And like what we do every Friday when we speak on the personal development topics, like mm -hmm. it makes you think, this is what you need to do. Stop yeah. for a second and think, understand. And also, I was thinking that if people wanted you, because like we do with the personal development, we do these, like we do very specific tips, like six tips or eight tips or whatever. Um, I don't know if people get value from that or not, but I think it's something that's quite useful to walk away or to watch something and to go, oh, okay, I can implement that. Or So if people wanted that in this as well, they wanted specific uh, tips to be shared, then they just let us know, you know, and then you can you can have specific tips that people can use um, or just... Yeah, maybe just the information on how to get the the questionnaire from you about the target market. Yeah, so if someone yeah. wanted the free of charge, you can just ask me. You can send. You can either put your email address in the comments or send it to me in Big Data Consulting, and I'll give you the questionnaire. Just do it. It's really important. This is the one of the top important thing in the foundation in marketing, and mm -hmm. it is. You know what? It's like that's the basic. How mm -hmm. can you get from point A to point B if you don't know what's point B? Always keep it in mind. Yep. And as you said, by the way, if someone want to go live with us and do this thing with us, that we're going to give you tips on your business mm -hmm. from a personal development side, from the coaching side, and to the marketing side of it, how to brand it, how to market it. Just send us a message and you can do it with us. We are here. And as we said, always, we're just here to help each other. So let's have an amazing community together. And we'll be back on Friday. Yes. Have a lovely day and happy spring again. <laughs> Bye. Bye.